That's their favorite character. And they all have their own voices and different personalities. We have our six inch deluxe figures where you push them down and they make sounds. And this is our Half Shell Heroes um, headquarters playset. They have 12 different features, and like the giant Leonardo playset, you can close it up and make it compact. So that way, you know, it doesn't take up that much space in the house. Is there anything particular you guys want to look at? Or? Uh, full tour. Tur yeah, these? full tour. Full tour? Especially okay. turtles. Were yeah, everything in here is turtles, so <laughs> you're good. Um, we have construction vehicles over here. So um, this is new for the fall. Yep. For the big guys, we have the little guys have it too. That's cool. So basically, we're really just giving them whatever the big kids have, but Which is cool. you know, in a safer, friendlier way. Oh. From the dino special that was on Nickelodeon in the fall, we basically expanded on the line because we found that preschoolers really loved the dinosaurs and the turtles. Exactly. So why not combine them? faces on it and they'll each come with its own you know character but there is a chance for kids to get refillable darts that have all character faces on it including villains so we have the double barrel blaster which has two darts the quad blaster which has four darts and then the talking shell cannon blaster which has six darts and a removable clip that has an additional six darts and if you pull this back right here when you're aiming to uh, fire it'll make sounds and phrases. So T-Sprints is also a new segment that we're having um, this year. So basically it's rev them up and watch them go. And we'll, 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 that as well. we'll do the same thing with his vehicle. There's a, an open concept, so if you stick this T-Sprint in, he'll rev up and have the vehicle that was so hard. Might be with the shoulders in, so. And he'll go on as well. And we have two um, play sets as well. This one's coming out in the spring, so we can race up the um, rampway and go through the sewer. And this one's a little bit more complex, it's coming in the fall. They're able to have them go up the lever and then go down the zip line. All by just revving them up. We have tea machines over here. We introduced this last year, but we're continuing to add new vehicles to the die cast um, play pattern. We have one touch mutation vehicles as well. So in just one touch, they can go from a general figure to their vehicle. We've noticed that kids like, you know, mutating one thing from another and having multiple ways to play. We have stackables here and then we got blind bag figures. Blind bags are a huge trend this year, so. You'll never know which one you'll get. Nope, I've bought a couple. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> is it fun getting the surprise element of it? It is. It or is. then you get disappointed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a little bit of both. Ninja Turtle and it turns into a giant Ninja Turtle. We have Squeezums. 
So if you squeeze his shell, he'll make, he'll stick out his tongue and his eyes and make sounds and faces at you. That's cool. <laughs> As I said before, mutations is a big line for us. Um, we did the pet to Ninja Turtle with the little guys last year. We did the figures to weapons, and this year we'll be doing figures to vehicles.